Hi viewers, in my last two videos, I had run an active test on the ISCV valve and then gone ahead to clean the ISCV valve as well as the throttle body. In this video, I'm going to be repeating the test that I did at the baseline on the ISCV valve. I'll check for the level of vibrations using a vibration meter and then go ahead to repeat the active test. The purpose of this video is simple. Having cleaned the ISCV valve and the throttle body, has it improved any of these things? Now let's get this. vibrations in the car. The before measurements are going to be on the left and the after on the right. I'll comment basically on the after but draw comparisons as well. So I'll go ahead to start the car. And apologies if the camera shakes. Uh, as usual I had warmed this up previously. I'm just going to wait so that the idle comes down to where it usually rests. I think the values are certainly a bit lower, generally less than one. Right. So idle are settled, that's looking where it usually is. So we're going to proceed to start adding loads to the vehicle. First of all, steering wheel is straight. Every accessory is off. Start the AC. So not too much of an effect. This is certainly looking lesser than before. 1.8 to approximately about two. Car is in reverse. It's still at about 2.3, 2.4, less than three generally. I go into drive, car is in drive now. Still looking good, 3.7, 3.9. And you can see that in terms of the average level of vibrations is actually less compared to the first. So I think this has generally improved level of vibrations in the car. So I now go ahead to repeat the active test. Yep, ICV test. Same as before, activates in, in four stages. Let's see. Okay. Turn the engine. Turn engine on. Turn off all electrical devices. Um, yeah, that's done. Everything is off. Center the steering wheel. That's center. Okay. Start the car. So now testing. So it passes at stage one, we failed at stage two. Let's see. And it fails again. Okay, IAC system failure sticky valve air bypass trouble replace IAC valve so that's it guys as you can see some mixed results while the level of vibrations in the car generally reduced it still didn't pass the active test and yeah well, as you saw in the last video I had cleaned out the ISCV valve I was really hoping that that was going to help solve this but it appears that damage has been done to the ISCV or some compromise in performance has been done to the ISCV valve you know the thing is that all the carbon that you saw come out of it tends to restrict the actuator itself from moving so with that restriction comes added stress to the electrical components inside the part itself so that possibly has compromised its efficiency i don't have a check engine light yet i'm possibly going to wait this out and see at what point the ecu picks up the inefficiency of the iscv and then triggers a code 
and then go ahead to replace at that point i think the lesson here is it's always good to do preventive maintenance i mean i waited till 250,000 miles to clean my icv valve for the first time and yeah in retrospect i shouldn't have waited that long so i hope this was helpful give the video a thumbs up if this has been helpful to you and do subscribe to the channel thank you very much cheers